Hey everybody, it's Mr. Bennett. We're going to do a little bit of physics today. We're going to talk about waves. And it says wave notes too, but it's really just an intro to waves and some of the things that we can use to measure waves. But first, we need to remember that waves can carry energy without transferring matter. So we think of energy uh, in mass and momentum. So something that has a lot of mass, has a lot of speed, there's a lot of energy there. Well, waves are a different kind of energy. Uh, electromagnetic energy or electromagnetic waves are going to be coming up. So things like light and sound, uh, radio waves, microwaves, all these things that we hear about. Wi-Fi is a wave. We're going to be talking about those later. But the important thing is that this energy is transferred with no change in mass. So I can send energy your direction from my voice, that's sound waves, but I don't change my mass because of that. But that energy is still reaching you. So that's really important to remember. These definitions you should already have in your notes, but we're going to just use a picture to describe them really, really quickly. Remember, the wavelength is the distance between any two points on any two waves. So I like to use the points between two crests of the waves, so the high points. So if we were to draw a line just like that, this is the wavelength, and that's symbolized by the Greek symbol lambda. It's kind of a funny looking A or an H shape. It doesn't need to be perfect, but that's what the wavelength is. Amplitude is the height above or below. This is called the rest position. Amplitude is the height, so this space here, or this depth, this trough here. That's the amplitude. And we're going to be talking about that in a lesson or two. The frequency is how quickly these waves move in a way. The frequency is how many waves pass us in a set amount of time. And you can have that be whatever you want. So you can say how many waves in 10 minutes or an hour or whatever. Uh, so things calculating like ocean waves. You don't, you don't necessarily want to have them every second. Uh, maybe you do every five minutes or something. But that would be counting the frequency of the waves. On the other hand, we do have a standard. And this is called hertz. And hertz is equal to the number of waves in one second. And this is really important because the waves that we experience around us all day, every day, uh, are measured in millions and billions of hertz. They're very, very, very fast, very, very high frequency waves. And we don't know that they're there. We have no way of experiencing them. But we can hear what they translate into, things like sound. So your radio waves, those are measured in megahertz, MHZ. So uh, popular radio station is 92.9 .9 here in town. That's 92,900,000 waves every second. So this is waves every second. So that radio station, again, is 92.9 megahertz. Wi-Fi is in gigahertz. So that would be billions of hertz, billions of waves every single second going by you. So waves, especially on the electromagnetic spectrum, when we start talking about those, go very, very, very fast. There's two equations that we need to talk about. The first one, this is measuring the frequency. So again, this is one wave over a set amount of time. So frequency. Q U E N C Y is the F is equal to one or the uh, so this is a wave and this is time and remember the standard is Hertz up here so the number of waves in one second that's very very important we're going to be using that a lot uh, this equation we need to rewrite it didn't copy correctly onto my screen yours may be correct so double check it before you scribble it out. But this uh, is looking at the speed of waves. So the velocity of a wave, or V, is equal to the wavelength. Remember that lambda symbol from up here? So the, the uh, distance between two points on a wave. So speed is equal to lambda times the frequency, or the wavelength times the frequency. So make sure your equation looks like this. And then I'll, I'll label it real quick. I'll do mine in blue again. So this is velocity. Equals wavelengths or the wavelength times frequency. And because we can measure these two things, the wavelength, the frequency, and even the speed of a wave, we can we can figure out how fast these waves are going. For instance, we know the speed of light, we know the speed of sound. We can figure out any of these other three just by rearranging this equation. So let's take a look at an example. The wave of a guitar string is a frequency, so we're looking at this, the F right here, of 540 hertz. Go ahead and underline that and put a little F under it. And a wavelength of 2.5 meters. Oh, I forgot to say that wavelength is measured in meters. 
a wavelength of 2.5 meters. So this is going to be our little lambda. What is the speed? Here's our question right here. What is the speed? And we know speed is velocity. So we can pull our equation down. We've got velocity equals the wavelength times the frequency. Uh, I don't need to rearrange anything because my question mark is on its own. I don't know the velocity, so I just need to do this velocity is equal to my frequency, so 540 times my wavelength, 2.5. And this comes out to 1,350, and our units are meters per second. So that's, that's pretty much it, very, very simple. We'll talk about unit conversions in class in person, but that's, that's all we really need to do. So make sure you understand what this equation is actually doing and know your variables. And I want you to do this on your papers. Make sure you label, so underline things, especially when you see hertz, this is a frequency. Underline the, the size, so when you see lambda, you know it's gonna, uh, or when you see meters, you know it's gonna be a wavelength. So make sure you're doing these things because it will help you answer these questions. So uh, take a look at the next page of these notes that you're filling out along with me, and I will see you in class.